Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Future Highlights. In today's episode I'm going to talk about the Giphy integration which is a free integration provided in the free version of Pipso. So you don't have to pay for anything and naturally this feature is available to everyone. It's very easy to set up and you can use the GIF images or GIF animations in your posts, in your comments and even in chat messages. So let's start with the backend configuration, shall we? As it is the case with basically old WordPress plugins, we first need to go to the WordPress dashboard and then navigate to Pipso configuration, stream posts, scroll all the way down until you find Giphy section and these are the options that we need. Giphy API key is provided to you automatically so you don't have to input anything. This key will be there by default if you want to change it, you can, you need to go to the Giphy website and then take your own API key, but you don't have to, you don't have to change anything there. This limit over there is going to be a setting that decides how many uh, Giphy animations are going to be shown when you search for them. Allow me to explain on an example. If you go to the front end of your website, let's open it in a new window. And now when I search for, let's say I want to make a comment here and I want to do it with Giphy, let's search for love and only 25 of the GIF animations will be shown here. No more than 25. Okay, let's go back to the limit, reduce it to 5, save the settings. Now let's reload this page. Let's try that again. Try to search for love or whatever. And only one, two, three, four, five GIF animations are going to be shown. You see, it's not, it's not allowing me to scroll for more. Let's come back to the configuration and check the maximum content rating option. As it names impl implies, this option will set the limit on the content rating and you can choose from uh, illustrated content suitable for everyone pg pg14 or inappropriate under the age of 17. so you can limit the search for the giphy integration so let's say you have a very sensitive site that you don't want to show any explicit or unwanted content you can choose this inappropriate under the age of 17 rating and then everyone who search for inappropriate content it will simply not be shown in the search result or if you don't care for the limit just choose the no limit and that's it following options will allow you to enable or disable GIF integrations in posts comments and chat okay so if you don't want to use it in the chat for example you can simply disable it or if you don't want to use it in comments likewise if you don't want to use it in posts you can switch the option on or off and finally the render method is the option that decides how your gifis or gifi animations are going to be rendered so in the posts we decided to choose the original file size and file dimensions, but you can choose a lot of different options if you wish. You can even choose the still image, but I suggest a bigger image in the posts and smaller image with fixed width in the comments. So let's say, it's with small static preview you know you can choose whatever works best for you if you have more users visiting your website on a mobile you may want to choose this option then or if you have more people on the desktop there is probably a version for you that you can use from the available options 
And that is how you integrate Giphy with your website. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best. Bye.